Is it kinky? Is it coiled? Is it relaxed? No, it's natural. Good evening, I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Samara and Theodore, and what right now we are seeing. You can choose to be nappy or not. In the workplace, that is. Which is, I was thinking that if you take the time, you could put color correction over some of the electronic outlets. Color matching. But wait, is it professional? Do those little details. But when Shirley got a disturbing phone call. Or is it even acceptable for African American women? Willie Joe, what? But first, what is natural hair? You already purify this, this is not what you want, right? Well, I purify you can tell I'm not an expert on hair, um, but uh, I think of natural hair as um, usually more uncontrolled um, hair. Natural hair is unaltered by chemical straighteners, the creamy crack to be exact. Is it really the way to be? I got tired of being at the hairdresser for extensive periods of time. And so I decided I was going to cut my hair completely off. I've been natural my entire college career. I, I probably started when I was a freshman in college, and I've been natural for, gosh, maybe like six or seven years now. And I, I love my natural hair. I, I think it's great. I feel like all women should wear their natural hair, especially black women. I feel like our society has gotten more acceptable as it should for natural hair. So I'm transitioning as far as my hair is concerned from being um, relaxed to natural. After doing extensive research and speaking with my peers about the process, um, I found as though it's healthier for my hair, as well as I just prefer, uh, I know that when I commission to the fleet, I'm gonna be out and see for like up to 11 months at a time. Without combs and herbal treatments used in Africa, slaves relied on baking grease, butter, and kerosene as hair conditioners and cleansers. Um, I, I like the texture of my hair, I love how it looks, and it's low maintenance, so it leaves me a lot of time to do other things, and it doesn't uh, um, stress me out financially. African Americans with kinky hair were considered to be less attractive and worth less. An African American person with their hair sort of frizzy, I think that's natural. Am I right? Beginning my uh, my culture and my race, we weren't very we weren't accepted in the military, as well as especially females. So when females were allowed to be allowed in the military, they weren't African Americans, they weren't Hispanic, they were mainly Caucasians. So the hair regulations mainly steered towards them. After slavery, good hair became required for entering certain schools, churches social groups, and even work. A hot comb was invented to temporarily straighten hair, and Madam C.J. Walker developed a product that chemically straightened African-American hair. But I remember when I was a child growing up, um, I did love to have my hair natural, right? But um, my mom insisted on straightening it because it was easier to manage. I went ahead and used the creamy stuff, uh, the perm, or relax, or rather, probably from my freshman year in high school to my senior year in high school. So for four years, I had a perm. Even though it may be very cool, it looks a little sloppy, and I think that hurts. And an awful lot of particularly African American women I've seen on television, they have worked hard to straighten their hair. I currently wear a weave in my hair right now because it's more convenient with my lifestyle and my career. Um, I, I used to wear my hair natural on air, but I would press it out and I would straighten it a lot. I had to relax it for professional reasons because I was trying to have a, what I want to say, a quick appearance, something that was manageable and it was easy, and yeah, I felt that I was um, able to conform to professional standards. With the natural epidemic, is natural hair considered to be professional? I think it really depends on the individual, how they present themselves. But um, are they professional? You know, because then sometimes it's not necessarily the hair that's unprofessional, but it's the individual that's unprofessional. As far as uh, 
females having natural hair in a work setting, it's the same regulations as those who have relaxed hair. As long as the hair is kept up properly and it doesn't look a mess, then I feel as though it's, uh, it's acceptable. Probably not. Uh, and I'm not sure that's right. I just think that's the way it is. Now, is natural hair receiving the respect it deserves? A lot of people are open-minded. We have resources like the internet, uh, which allow a lot of people to become more diverse and become more global citizens. It, it gives people the opportunity to be privy to seeing different types of people and understanding that underneath it all, we are all the same. We all have a character and that's what you should really take into consideration with. Recently, they did change, they did alter the hair regulations to try to make it slightly more diverse to different ethnicities which I find very appreciative and is also pretty much helpful to those who are uh, whether you're natural or you have um, extremely long curly hair. I think it's a matter of us accepting ourselves. Um, for too long African Americans have asked other people to accept us and in return they've given us these compromises. Well, you know, if you're more uh, if your appearance is more acceptable, we'll, we'll let you into our circles. And so you see our women relaxing their hair and dyeing their skin and augmenting their faces and their, their, their physical features in order to be accepted. But then, to me, it leads to a psychological disconnect because at the same time, I'm changing myself to be accepted by the world. I'm tearing myself apart and I'm, I'm in essence, destroying myself. So.